Okay, so what's up guys, and welcome back to J.U. Sex, part 51. Let me tell you a little story. Uh, so there's this kid one time doing a walk through a J.U. Sex, Human Revolution, and uh, he was on part 50. And uh, once he started recording part 51, uh, things went bad. It recorded about a whole hour worth of gameplay, and loads of important cutscenes and other tidbits of information. And you know what? He lost it all. And to make it even worse, he saved it before he stopped recording, so I had to. Oh, I mean, uh, this other person whose uh, walkthrough has a striking resemblance to mine uh, <laughs> had to restart almost halfway through the game because that was the latest save he had to get this hour worth of gameplay back. So things might look a little different in terms of money and XP, but uh, there ain't no reason to take a save. What was I saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it, this is all good though. It's all good though. He, uh, he made it all the way back here, or uh, uh, all the way back to you know part fifty-one, and uh, things are all right now. Anyway, so welcome back to my walkthrough, because <laughs> I never make mistakes. We're gonna go investigate. Um, I can't remember his name. Something Sanders. No, Taggart's dude. Anyway. Come in here. Of course I do. Leave me Idiot. You're not gonna make me answer that, are you? <laughs> Here's a tip. He's a retard. Anyway, uh, we're gonna knock out Tweedledee and Tweedle Dumbass here. Hey guys. Ooh. -hoo. Damn. Your world just got turned upside down. All right. Give me your shit. Empty your pockets. This is a stick up. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Where did a revolver go? I swear he had one. Or, unless I just picked up his revolver. Don't fuck with me. Come on. Really? Douche. Oh well. Anyway, uh... Oh, shit. Excuse me. Uh... Put on our x-ray vision here. And we see a man in there. And better yet. Is that a Praxis kit? Oh, that's nice. Hold up. What? This doesn't look right. This is suspicious. I don't know. <laughs> Under there is, I believe, two EMP mines. And if not two, just one and a concussion mine. But, actually, we probably don't have shielding from that because uh, this is a different profile. Um... We have, we don't have shielding from the concussion, but we do have it from the EMP anyway. So if we took that, we would be fine. But there's a man in there. Now, I live by a saying. It's, uh, point a gun at me once, shame on you. Point a gun at me twice. I'm going to blow your brains out with a really cool shotgun. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not the most average saying in the world, but it's mine. Anyway, in there, we have an old friend. If we get close to my bill, see him. That is Zeke Sanders, yeah. Turns out his his uh, brother is uh I still can't remember the guy's name, some with an S. I wanna say Salvatore, but that's not right. Uh, anyway, if we hold down X, we activate our double barrel and we say, What's up, buddy? You Whoa. You looked a little angry there, huh? I blew what? I blew your brains out, that's the correct answer. Sleep, sleep now. Forever hold your dick. No, but you really might want to get that looked at. Dick. <laughs> All right, that's the end of his story. Um, you were safer in jail. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to break that news to you. Anyway, we got a code to the safe here. It's five, four, six. Trace. Open it up. And there's nothing really too special in here. A bunch of tranquilizer darts. I really just want the frag mines. I don't use trank guns. Everyone perishes at my hands. Almost everyone. And, you know, for a rich doctor... Oh, what the fuck is his name? I can't remember. Uh, hey brother. Something with an L. Um... Isaiah Sandoval. Isaiah, yeah, these two are brothers. As you can see from message right there. Hello, brother. I've had the old safe replaced. It's on. Uh, it was a poor design, and I. Don't, I don't know. 
yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it's either his apartment or someone else's. Anyway, I don't know. Um, we can pick that up if we want. Um, I've actually done this a couple times, but it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, you might be able to just shoot the body so it flies off. Yeah, that hurt me a bit, but that's fine. Anyway, so there's the mines. Pick them up. Oh, they're two e EMP mines. Okay. So that's a that's an augment's worst nightmare. Anyway, you can't move this guy. I don't think. Oh, you can. Huh. Yeah, you can't pick them up off the mines, and I think that might set them off either way. Um. And obviously, picking up the Praxis kit not the best idea in the world. So where do we go next? You might ask. I'll tell you. Just want to rearrange his apartment real quick. It's got a lot of clutter in this room. Let's unpack these boxes for him. Okay, yeah, that's that. Open the door and let's take a piss. Alright, wash our hands. And, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at this. This looks kind of weak. You know, uh, we should do some construction work and demolish this wall. Beautiful. I love what you've done with the place. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Pritchard, looks like Sepsek like Sepsek like Sandoval's got a secret bubble. Remix! I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still. Alright, so, um, I believe on my other profile I already have these augments, and if I don't, I would have grabbed them. And actually, I take that back, I know I grabbed them, but, like I said, that recording is fucked. It is gone. Finito. Bye bye. Um. I believe I also bought these. Excuse me, guys. It's early. I just had like two cups of coffee. <sighs> All right. So yeah, that, those two upgrades for right Thar. Uh, as for leg augmentations, I want to be able to run silently, sprint silently, and hit the ground silently. Why do you want to do that? Well, because uh, that's exactly what we're about to do. <laughs> Nuts and bolts if he's working for Taggart. That's the same as that. Anyway, let's take a quick little x ray peek here. And we got some people. I'm actually, uh, last time I went through here, I just straight up destroyed everyone. I want to see if there's some sort of pattern this guy over here does. Oh, that's cool. You can see through the gun as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, do the walk backwards thingy and then you're over here. I probably could have take done like a, one of them double takedowns on them, but hmm. Anything on throw? Sorry, I'm like trying to devise new strategies uh, uh, for a level I've already been through. Uh, Well, that's one way to get their attention. Just open that shit. All right, yeah, no one's over here. Just uh, relax. Turn around. Thank you. Bop. Anyway, he's down. Okay, so yeah, open up one of those lockers. And just drag that guy back here. I'm actually going to try and go through here stealthily. Keyword try. Knock, knock. Who's there? Adam Jensen, bitch. Alright, he's down. Give me your stuff. Man, you guys love revolvers. Me, too. OMG. We got something in common. Except for the whole, you're unconscious and I'm not. You did that all on your own. With a little bit of my help. Anyway, loads of sniper rifle ammo. Even more combat rifle ammo. Fun guns and uh, when you're using different builds, but uh, not for me. This is sort of like the surefire way, I think. Sort of build like a... It's really rounded out for everything. I like it. And uh, these are the most 
Uh, I mean, like, guns like the combat rifle and machine pistol, they're fun, but why would you use, uh, really, they're, they're just not superior, or they're not, um, sword I'm looking for. They're just, they just can't hold up to you know, like one shot kills with the pistol. The shotgun is just a devastating weapon up close. The revolver shoots explosive rounds. Uh, and they don't take much ammo either. They're usually like one shot per enemy deals. You know, the combat rifle takes multiple unless you're like fucking Surgeon Sniper 2011 or 2013 and you just shoot the crap out of every or you just get headshots every time which is pretty unlikely anyway come on here so down here in the sewers man I say yes your standards are slipping if this is your uh, idea of a fortified hideout here's this guy doing the, oh what's up and then I'm gonna walk that way and you wanna be careful here. There's a lot of people, a lot of room for things to just go absolutely wrong. I love the way Adam looks when he holds that gun, so I'm just going to keep it here. <laughs> and uh, what we're waiting for is that guy to come on back around. See how I sound like I know what I'm doing, but I've actually never tried to stealth through here at all. <laughs> Truth be told, I have no clue. But uh, let's just get a better look at that gun. Yeah, it looks awesome. Cool. Now, hurry up. Come on back. I'm getting bored. <laughs> um, it might be uh, all for naught if I decide. Because um, there's a, if you can hear, there are quite a bit of uh, quite many um, frag mines. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Attaboy. Okay. So yeah, quite a few of them on the other side of that thing. You really want to be careful here. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. But he's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. You're the reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. Hmm. Wait for that guy to go over there. Then I'm gonna go like, hey! Boop! Oh, you hit your friend, man. That's fucked up. Drop them. And then be like, hey! Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, drop this dude as well. Guess what's up? My fist! In your nose cavity. That's what's up. Yeah, thumbs up for that. Oh, nobody! <laughs> we uh, got a bit of a buckshot breakfast there, but that's okay. Did he even hurt me? I still have the same health. Huh. I felt a shockwave in my controller. I, I don't know what happened. He probably did hit me. But uh, he's down. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to turn around. I should have waited for him to get closer, but I thought I could beat him to it. Like I said, uh, never tried to stealth it there before. Uh, I would take that guy, uh, take that section much slowly if you are looking for the ghost bonus. As I've said in previous videos, <laughs> come on, give me a break. Look how far we are in the game. I'm, 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 uh, I got loads of ammo I'm never going to use, so uh, <clears throat> it would be a waste. Uh, to not get reckless once in a while. Anyway, I'm gonna come in here uh, to get around all of that. Uh, uh, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Shit, I don't know. I forgot. I've played through this twice doing completely different methods, so forgive me if I'm a little uh, disoriented on what the hell I'm doing. Uh, this is the code 8218. 8218. 
Let me guys know what you think of a Dead Island playthrough. I've been thinking about that game a lot. I've been watching a lot of zombie Let's Plays, and I really want to play that game again. Anyway, you get the pocket secretary from that guy who gave us the buckshot breakfast. And there are mines everywhere in this place. And they're all in really annoying places. Alright. Oh, look at this water. Yummy. It's okay. Adam's not really trying to impress the ladies anyway. Yeah, good luck, like, trying to get through here without taking down the enemies first. Oh! Thank God the, <laughs> the proximity for the explosion is a lot smaller than the proximity for the proximity. Doom. The proximity for detection. I guess that's what I was trying to say, but... Didn't? Anyway, in here you just get an explorer bonus and some cyber boost pro energy shit. Uh, hey you, I forgot to loot you. I don't want to make you feel left out or nothing. Hey, chap. Oh, I was going to shoot him. Oh, well. I, actually, I don't think I've killed anyone in here, so let's uh, try to keep it that way. These guys are just protecting their dude. Um. Anyway, I'm going to save here because this is uh, where it froze last time, and it was all downhill from there, you know? You know? Actually, no, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I put in many hours into this game, uh, getting back to this point. Uh, it kind of sucked, but I've made it this far. I'm not going to turn back now, eh? Right? Thumbs up for the hard work. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next part when we confront Isaiah Sandival, and uh, we do even more good deeds. Yeah, well, you'll see you in the next part. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.